We know that higher doses of methylene blue, around a milligram per kilogram, which is around 70 or 80 milligrams in an individual, or higher are significantly antimicrobial, which means that the way they work is that they create a increase in the amount of reactive oxygen species in the system, and they actually create something called hydrogen peroxide. And so hydrogen peroxide is something that our cells make to fight all different types of things. Hydrogen peroxide is used to cause autophagy or mitophagy, so actually killing our own cells if they're not needed anymore, and this is something that's naturally happening all the time. But hydrogen peroxide is also used as an anti-infective. And that's what's interesting also about methylene blue is that it's never been shown to have any resistance patterns against any microbes that, that it works against. Like So that typically if you take an antibiotic, it's going to stop working over time because the bacteria in this case would find resistance to the, that particular antibiotic and find ways around actually being treated with that particular antibiotic. But methylene blue has never shown any resistance patterns because it increases the body's production of hydrogen peroxide. The other aspect of it is that the mitochondrial dysfunction aspect that we mentioned before too. If the cells are under more stress, or causing more inflammatory markers to be produced, more amyloid is going to go to those areas and try to protect the tissue as you described it. And so if we can work on the mitochondria itself and see how methylene blue can compensate and regenerate and make more efficient those mitochondria in the cells, those cells are not going to be producing a lot of those inflammatory cytokines and mediators that are causing the amyloid to potentially deposit on its own. The beautiful thing about methylene blue is that it can compensate for any dysfunction in the mitochondria itself. It can act just like oxygen as well. So even if you don't have mm -hmm. enough oxygen around, you can actually use methylene blue as a final electron acceptor in the mitochondria to make more energy.